That looks like maybe a level three. Let's see. Yep, we're gonna be checking out our whitetail zone since the update here in Rancho Del Arroyo. Now I have a feeling their drink time has changed, but I haven't found a zone yet. I think we have one here, so I'm gonna have to go in and grab their zone indicator, but I think I'm gonna take a couple bucks with me first. So stick around to the end of the video, guys. I am gonna share a hotspot map with you, showing you everywhere that I have found whitetail zones here in Rancho. Now your map won't be exactly the same as mine, but there is a good chance it will be similar and it should help you to find your whitetail zones. So we're actually using the 303 here. I do love the 303. Why do you have to be in the trees? Come on. So let me show you where we are. We are at what we call the Great Lakes and I have two bighorn sheep zones. So I need a whitetail zone. So I like to use the grunt collar with me when I am farming whitetail because it gets the most range. I find it's usually good for up to about 230 meters and that's pretty sweet. Let's go find that zone indicator. Okay, they do drink till 11. Interesting, because on all the other whitetail maps, whitetail drink from eight until 12. Eight until 11 in Rancho, so you're getting a shorter drink time in Rancho. I really thought they were gonna change it. I was wrong, and that wasn't the greatest of shots, but it did the job. Well, that is fascinating. Let's go find some zones, shall we? Now, if you do enjoy today's video, guys, or learn anything at all, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. And we're gonna head straight into it. Now, let me know in the comments what your favorite map is for doing the whitetail grind. We can now grind for whitetail in newly reset Leighton Lakes, Rancho Del Arroyo, Mississippi, and now in Revontuli Coast. We have four maps. That's pretty crazy. It wasn't that long ago that we only had one. So some of my whitetail zones have vanished, guys, but I do still have quite a few of them. But finding my zones, as long as they haven't changed locations too, too much, shouldn't be too bad because I am set up with all kinds of tents around where the zones used to be. So we're definitely going to use those, but we're going to check all the water sources on this map and see where all the whitetail are. Definitely stick around to the end of the video, guys. I am going to share a hotspot map showing you everywhere where I have whitetail zones here in Rancho so that you can hopefully find your zones more easily. Now, they won't be the same, but they definitely should be similar. All right, so I definitely do still have whitetail around this lake, and we are on Boot Lake. So right now, I have not found any yet, but I am going to check all the way around. But what is left around this lake is one, two, three. So we have four whitetail zones left on this lake. We're going to cover the whole thing and see if we do have more. So as you are discovering your zones, guys, make sure that you pick through every single deer in every herd. You just might find not only a diamond, but you could find an initial spawn great one. So make sure you have a really good look. And you also could find an initial spawn rare. You just never know what's going to spawn in on your map. Rancho has also been reset. So we have a completely new whitetail population. We have a completely new everything. Every species on the map is brand new since the update. And we are having problems, which is very very annoying. My tripods are disappearing quite a bit. They do go back into my inventory, but I did have a tripod up here. Now, I don't have white tail here, but I am going to leave the tent here because they may show up at a later time. So guys, if you were right in the middle of a Whitetail Great One grind here in Rancho before the update, you are going to have to find the rest of your zone. Some of them will have vanished with this update and reset up and start your grind again. Now we are at Crab Claw Lake. I have two zones left after the population reset and I am hoping to find quite a few because this has been just a jackpot for Whitetail in the past. Just so many and I'm not seeing a whole lot. All right, there's a new zone, beautiful. And that's that zone down there and it is 8.30 to 11. So that's our third zone for Crab Claw Lake. Now I do find guys that zones like to come out in stages. So if you do go to a lake and find one or two zones and you think there should be more there, definitely go back and check later. It is very possible that more zones will pop up in the future. I usually have to check every water source twice to find every zone when I am doing a grind. And finding your zones is a very, very labor intensive Job. So I'm hoping that today's video will make that somewhat easier for you guys, but it does definitely take time. And that's it. That's all I seem to have here right now. Three zones. I will definitely be back looking for more. So when you're looking for your zones, guys, definitely be spotting as much as you can. Listen for mating calls. Head in the direction of 
pheasant, head in the direction of whitetail mating calls. And definitely you can pick up your zones after whitetail drink time has ended by picking up the zone indicators. I picked up more than half of my zones that way for whitetail in Mississippi, but I don't have a zone indicator here, so no whitetail here right now. That's unfortunate. All right, we do have a new zone and it looks like a pretty gargantuan herd, so that's awesome. So right now we are on Ghost Lake and that is the zone we just found right there. So that is awesome. I really love this lake. I find it's fairly wide open and there is another zone. So we're starting to find some zones. I don't know about one buck being in there. I hope he has others joining him. That would be interesting if we had single buck zones. That is no good. So we were left with two zones here on Ghost Lake. We now have four. This lake has always been a really great lake for whitetail. And I think this is a zone right here that we're gonna get just from picking up the zone indicator. So always stop and grab these. And it is another whitetail zone, very sweet. All right, so we're up to five on this lake. Look at all the whitetail. One here, this one, this one, and this one right here. Now I will keep checking as more zones may pop out later, but that's a pretty decent amount for Ghost Lake. All right, we found a zone on this lake here. Not super visible. What I was left with on this lake for whitetail zones was this one here, these two down here, and this one up here. So I was left with four. We have found one more so far, but we are not done. I really don't like farming this lake. I find this lake to be a big pain in the neck. It has terrible sight lines, really hard to place tents. Okay, so we just found a herd of whitetail here and I actually did check this spot out an hour ago and found nothing. So that just goes to show you do need to visit spots that you think you're going to find whitetail in more than once. They aren't necessarily going to be there the first time you go. So we're up here on what I call OK Lake and this is actually the lake where I found my one and only whitetail great one. He was up in this zone right here and that was just about a year ago. That was rough. That was a very tough grind for me. 4,576 kills alone in Rancho plus another 2,700 kills I did in Leighton Lakes to not get a whitetail. Great one. So I think my next grind is probably going to be in Revon Thule and I am going to be doing a zone guide for whitetail for Revon Thule as well guys. That'll be coming out soon. I just need some time to learn where they all are. I've had a lot of people reaching out and there's another zone, beautiful. Looking for all kinds of different hotspot zones since the update. And I am working on it, guys. There's gonna be new whitetail guides, red deer guides, all the great one guides. I'm gonna do bear guides for every map that has black bear and I am gonna do all new super guides, but I am gonna need a little bit of time to learn all the changes because every map has been updated except for Silver Ridge Peaks. So I'm working on it, I promise. They are all coming. I think I'm gonna shoot that one. He's very pretty. How you doing, my friend? And splat. Now I know you're not supposed to shoot them, but you know what? Doing a whitetail video without shooting a whitetail would be very boring. So let's take one down. I'll take my chances. And there he is, 225. He is very pretty. And don't the whitetail look amazing on the new scorecards? Absolutely beautiful. $667 is kind of sad, but that is what whitetail pay, unfortunately. So this is where we are right here. Okay guys, we are now in the bottom right hand corner. That looks like maybe a level three. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. We have a potential diamond whitetail and a brand new zone. Well, we're definitely gonna have to kill him right now. Now, unfortunately, the tripods are not showing on the maps right now, guys. That is a bug since the last update. I'm hoping they come out with the hot fix for that very soon, but for right now, we won't be able to see our tripods on the map. Now this area is almost impossible to put a tripod down. Oh, and he is a pretty boy. He is a pretty boy. All right. You know what? Let's put the Argus on and have a real good look at him. You gotta love resets when you find things like this on your map. Here we go. Splat! He dead. So this is one of my favorite spots for whitetail. You can see amazingly from the top of the mountain and I usually have really big herds out here, but definitely try and get that tripod down if you do have a lot of deer and if you are going to shoot many of them at the same time. Without a tripod, guys, you can only kill three and the fourth will kill the zone. With a tripod, you can kill 15 and the 16th will kill the zone. So that is a big difference. He's thick, but is he wide enough? He is a diamond, 259, not a huge one. He just didn't look that wide to me. Very thick though. 
and he is very pretty. So Diamond Trophy Rating for Whitetail has changed just by a little bit. It used to be 255.0 and now it is 255.09 since the update. So if you do get a 255.0, you're gonna have a troll. That would be very unfortunate, but that is a sweet find. So this is where we found them. So definitely check there. Okay, so I just found this really beautiful herd, and this is where we are. This is Crab Claw Lake. I actually did go up here and check this lake and this lake. Still no whitetail, so I think it's safe to assume that there are no whitetail in the top left-hand corner, just like before the update. I did run the entire coast, and I did not find a lot of zones. I didn't run the mountainous area because you just can't. But most of these zones are actually bighorn sheep. There's three bighorn sheep and just two whitetail. One whitetail there, that's bighorn, and one whitetail there. So I only have a total of five whitetail drink zones on the coast. If you guys do find more than that, please let me know in the comments and I will run it again. I do find that to find all your zones, you do often have to check a lot of spots more than one time, which is very time consuming. How you doing my friend? Oh, he's gonna flow to us, delightful. So guys, when I do get a better idea of exactly how many zones there are in Rancho for Whitetail, I will leave a pinned comment under the video. And he is a 226, not big enough. Look at the huge herds. And this is not the only zone where I'm finding quite a lot of deer. So far I have found 37 zones. So I don't know exactly how many zones there will be when we are done here in Rancho. I'm wondering if they're making larger herds and less zones, but I don't know that for sure. Okay guys, this is where I have found all of my whitetail drink zones in Rancho since the June 28th update. Now they are all in the same places as they were before. They have moved a little bit. They are still not in the top left hand corner, but that is where I am finding them and I have found 40 drink zones so far. If you guys have found all of your zones, please let me know in the comments how many zones you have found. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you did enjoy the video, guys, smash that like button. You guys are awesome. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. If you guys would like to learn all of the new hotspots and zone times for all of the reset maps, here is that playlist here on the screen. Click away. Take care, guys.